would like to bring new meaning to the words project 333. I know a lot of the time people mean it just regarding a wardrobe, but I'm putting it out there that I'd like to attempt a project 333 for all my possessions. I currently have 33 possessions that I think are non-negotiables for me as an extreme minimalist. This is as low as I can get. This is the amount of items that I am comfortable living with while still feeling comfortable, while still feeling like I'm not depriving myself. So if you're interested to see what they are, that's what we're going to do right now. And we are going to put a caveat on that. Now, I know some of you are sticklers for the boundaries. So the boundaries are, yes, obviously I live in a shared home. I use shared possessions. Eventually, this is what I would like to take with me for a colder climate. If I go to a warmer climate, things like the jeans would be swapped out for shorts, etc. So these are what the 33 items look like for me. So I realise I'm a little bit further away now, but this is the shot that I'm getting so that I can show you all everything in it. So let's start with the clothing. This is what I've got it down to that I believe these are items non-negotiable for me that I use every single day in the medium to cold climate of the UK. Let's have a look. I love a pair of black jeans because I think they can be smart whilst also being relaxed. I'm a jeans person, I love wearing jeans and black goes with everything. I currently have two t-shirts, cotton, these are actually quite thick cotton so they're definitely you know for colder climates or a cold day in a warm climate. I have two vests. The black one is currently in the wash because obviously that is a side effect of being an extreme minimalist. You don't have many things and it is constantly being washed. I don't mind it, I would rather have less things and for anybody who is new here, I am preparing to go travelling. I want my items to be as low as possible because I want them to be as light as possible because I don't want them to wear me down when I go travelling. I realise that some people, some people may just enjoy living like this but some people may not want to, you know, it's an individual life choice. I have a black linen shirt again, great as a cover up, also great to use in the place of sort of cardigans and jumpers if you layer them because as I've discussed before I do not really like jumpers. I, do, I don't like jumpers and sweaters so these these to me are invaluable. And while we're on the subject of them, I have two more cheesecloth linen type shirts as well, again for the same reasons. But this particular cheesecloth material is actually made to look wrinkly as opposed to regular linen. So you don't have to worry about ironing too much when they're getting sort of rolled up to be packed and even just in your regular lifestyle as well. I then recently did realise I would be cold for the winter and I have got a fleece again. I'm not going for black with everything, it's usually black or green for the fact that obviously green is my favourite colour but black I appreciate goes with everything and doesn't get dirty as easily. I also have a black hat. I know some of you may recognise that and that is not an optional purchase I might just add. My green one has been lost and then also I have some green leggings. These are great for lounging around in but also working out. I have two underwear sets so that like sports bra and matching pants. You can also work out in them really if you wanted. I have a hammam Turkish towel, my straighteners, I've actually recently swapped out, I used to have a corded pair and a non-corded pair and the corded pair actually broke so I decided to take the opportunity to swap them out for a cordless rechargeable pair. A 
somebody with long hair, a clip to me is essential. I've done videos like this in the past where I get people saying, you know, there's still items there that you don't really need, but it is a personal thing. And for me, I found out like when I did a video in the past similar to this, but that was like a summer, a summer setting, I found out that I did really, really miss a basic thing like a clip. Hair bobble, eco-friendly, eco-friendly toothbrush, a hairbrush. I bought this a long time ago and I'm not going to replace it while ever, you know, it still works, but in the future I would perhaps get a more eco-friendly brand brush. A water bottle that is actually good for hot and cold drinks for up to 12 hours and a pair of socks. I have also again got another pair of these socks but they're also in the wash and they are the icebreaker socks that actually dry in sort of half an hour to an hour they're that quick at drying. And then how do I make videos still as a creator if I've only got 33 items? I have my Sony camera kit that has a built-in microphone, built-in tripod. This is my only sentimental items. Anything that is sentimental to me has been kept in that pouch. But I wanted to make this a realistic Project 333 and I know that I wouldn't actually want to part with my sentimental items. So including them for me makes it realistic in how perhaps I will go on to live my life. Telephone with built-in wallet. My documents folder, it includes things like certificates, birth certificates, passport, there's even a couple of photographs in there but I've allowed myself to count that as one thing because it all fits in this one wallet. Same goes for the laptop, I've got my laptop in a laptop case. So you may be asking, well what about shoes? And I basically put my outerwear just over there but and everything I'm wearing, this t-shirt, this long sleeve top and these linen trousers are included and these are also great to lounge around in or go out in. You can dress them up, dress them down but let's show you the outerwear that I'm obviously going to be needing as well. So these are non-negotiables for me. I've got the barefoot trail running shoes so they're great because they're capable of going for a run working out in them but they also look okay to wear as sort of street wear as well I have probably my largest sentimental item that is also practical a scarf from my mum which is obviously also great as a cover up or a shawl and I even use it instead of an umbrella and then finally or not finally because obviously I would need a bag to put all this in which I will get in a second but obviously a coat and then we have my bag now I'm thinking that I've got the stuff down to that few items that that bag is actually now almost redundant I think I only need a bag perhaps half that size and as I recently learned when I went away to Greece when that bag is full, it is very, very awkward for me to carry because I have a very narrow back. So I am actually thinking of selling my bag and downsizing to around a 25 litre bag. That is 40 litres so that I'm not taking more than I need. And this time to order a bag where the straps are closer together so they are more comfortable for me to carry but I do really like that bag still it is sort of a copy of the packed bag but is by East Pack. go back to one of my first videos on my channel if you'd like to see that bag because I've had I have had it since the beginning of my channel I've had a few comments here before that people think it is a new bag and I've had it from the beginning of my channel I think it just looks a different color depending on the light of the day this is all 33 items for Project 333 for everything, not just for a wardrobe. This is what I think I could comfortably live with. In the past, in videos like this, I used to have things like a little canteen, but the more I've sort of talked with you all in the comments about it, other people that are like-minded, I realised that a lot of the things, if you were going travelling, 
you would find places to eat out at lots of street food places. Sometimes you're actually given free forks in restaurants, I hopefully wooden and not plastic little things to eat with, little implements that you could save to, hit, to eat. You don't necessarily have to carry this stuff around with you, again adding to the load that you would be carrying. But I suppose you may all be thinking there's something vital missing from here. What about your consumables? Well, I haven't counted the consumables, but I will show you for the sake of showing you. One second. So these are my consumables and there's not much. I have my non-aluminium deodorant. I have a lip and cheek tint, a vegan and cruelty free and supposedly natural mascara, an SPF tinted moisturizer, and a good old peppermint Dr. Bronner's, which is good for toothpaste, washing your hair, washing your skin, washing your clothes. It does everything. So there are my five consumable things. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'd love to know in the comments if you had 33 items that were your non-negotiables that you were going to live with, obviously based on the fact of being able to use things like cutlery and crockery or eating out, what would your 33 items look like? Even including things like a little sentimental items box or tech equipment, what would they be? I'd love to know. It's fascinating to know what everybody's non-negotiables are. Bye!